Okay, well, let's just, we're starting off round two here, and I want you to give as much support in, in, in the second half as in the first half. Please put your hands together for Don Frazier. <laughs> China for three weeks with her boyfriend Mark and while they were gone they asked me to babysit their beloved hamster. Now the hamster's name was Walnut, cute little thing, brown and white and little freckles and fur and you know when they brought over his care package I was like Doreen what is all this stuff? And she said okay well this is premium quality hamster food. These are strawberry slims, these are bark bites for gnawing and this is organic bedding for hamsters with sensitive fur. And I was like, wow, this is one pimped out hamster. Okay, no problem. So the first day I had it, I said, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with, with Walnut. And so I decided to take some pictures. And so the first picture I took was me with, uh, with Walnut, like I was about to eat it like this. <laughs> and then the second picture I took, like Walnut was like sniffing down a bottle of vodka like this. And then the third picture, I had like this little Rastafarian figurine. And, and so it was about yay big and I decided to put Walnut like straddling the Rastafari like this. And I was just having a good old time, a good old time with Walnut. And so I sent off the pictures to Dory in the Market in, in Taiwan. <laughs> so the second day I had, the, I had Walnut, I decided to take him out for a little run. And then, you know, he was in my, my lap running around. And, and I'm on, on Facebook like stalking my ex or something like that. And, and, and the next thing you know, I'm like feeling around. I'm like, where, where is Walnut? And I turn I'm in my chair and I hear <laughs> and I look on the ground and Walnut is on the ground convulsing. And so I get on my hands and my knees, I'm like, oh my God, okay, um, can I give it CPR? Um, can I call 911? And I'm like, as I'm trying to figure out what the heck to do, its eyes close, its body goes limp, and it's laying there on the ground, passed away. And I just start bawling and bawling. I mean, I have no idea what happened. I don't know what to do. I'm just totally sobbing. I need somebody to talk to. So I decided to call my mom, who, who lives out in California. And my mom's from Trinidad. And I was like, Mom, I don't know what happened. But I was watching Dorian and Mark's hamster. And it was, it was having a good time. But it was in my lap. And it jumped and it committed a suicide. And I don't know what to do. <laughs> and she said, but wait, you mean you're crying over a dead hamster? I said, wait, mom, first of all, first of all, its name is Walnut, okay, respect. Its name is Walnut. <laughs> and second of all, I mean, I, they were like paranoid about me watching it because I told them I would teach it how to swim, okay? So she's like, well, you're just gonna have to go bury the hamster. And I thought about it and I said, oh my God, I, I live on the second floor of Brownstone in Brooklyn. I don't know where I'm gonna bury it. And she said, well then just draw it away then, just draw it away. Or find a sewer and just draw it in there. And, and of course this whole process wasn't gonna make sense to my mother. I mean, I mean, sure, if it were a pet goat or her pet rooster in, in Trinidad, then maybe, but us Americans and our pet rodents? No, forget about it. So I was like, okay, whatever. I'm gonna call my, my other best friend, Sandra, and see what she says. So I call her up and she's like, okay, wait, wait, calm down, calm down. First of all, yeah, you don't know how it died. Maybe it did have a seizure. So why don't you get in an autopsy? <laughs> and and at, the, at the time, that seemed like a good idea. So I called up the vet, and the vet was like, no, we don't do autopsies on exotic animals. I said, exotic animals? I mean, is, is the hamster going extinct? I, I don't know. So this, I was like, oh my god. So I was like, whatever. So I, I throw on my hoodie, and I go in my car. And this was in November, so I just so happened to have like a big snow shovel in my trunk. And, and what I did was I, I took Walnut and I put him in like a little Verizon wireless box. <laughs> and I head out to Fort Greene Park and I, I, I throw in my hoodie and I, and I get to the park and I find like an area in the park and I just start digging. I start digging and digging and digging. And as I'm digging, I realize here I am, a black woman with a hoodie on in the middle of the park, violently digging up dirt. I look mad suspect. <laughs> and, 
And just as I'm thinking this, I see two rangers off the distance heading my way. And I'm like, oh, hell no, I'm not going down over the burial of a hamster. So I see a big, massive pile of leaves. I just grab the pile of leaves and I toss it on top of the box. And I mean, boom, I hit it out of the park, I was out of there. I didn't even bother to look back. But I was thinking, oh my God, this was a debauchery of a burial. And to make matters worse, this is only the second day of Doreen and Mark's trip through Taiwan, Japan, and Taiwan for three weeks. So I get back home, and I'm trying to think, OK, how am I going to explain this to them? Am I going to send them an email? Should I call them? And so I go back to the scene of the incident where this all happened. And, and I'm sitting in my chair. And I'm on my computer thinking about what to do. And I live in a brownstone, so my chair kind of like rolls back. And it kept like rolling back and rolling back. And then the third time I rolled back, I just pulled myself forward. And I, I grabbed the phone, and I realized I needed to make another phone call. I called my mom, and I was like, she said, oh, God, Dawn, you didn't find somewhere to bury the hamster yet? I said, no, I found somewhere to bury. I mean, kind of. Technically, it's illegal to dig up dirt in New York City parks. But I found like a bag of leaves, and I just kind of like tossed it in there. But I just realized how it died. I cracked walnut. <laughs> she said, what? I said, yeah, I rolled over it with my chair. Uh, and to make matters worse, the last email that I sent to Doreen and Mark was a picture of me like pretending to eat it like this. <laughs> you know, it's sniffing down a bottle of vodka and like it's straddling like this Rastafarian like this, you know. She said, Dawn Fraser, what are you gonna tell them? I said, I don't know. She said, well, next time, just be a little bit safer with their children. Oh. <laughs> Don Fraser!